Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the retirement of the CCNA and CCNP voice certifications and the CCNA video certification. Now Cisco has de decided to go with the collaboration scheme of things to match uh, all of the stuff that they're marketing today. Everything you see from Cisco is collaboration, this, collaboration, that. So that's why I think they decided to retire just the video and the voice and just come up with collaboration certification and I'm a little bit saddened by that because I love voice and now I'm being forced to learn video as well but that's fine you know knowledge is power and all that good stuff um, but for the test takers that have already taken their CCNA voice and passed it uh, you really if you haven't started taking the CCNP certification exams then you really kinda of stuck in a very tough spot because you may not finish the five tests required to get the CCNP voice before it retires the test now they've already announced that the CCNA voice and the CCNA video last day for testing is August the 14th 2015 now they haven't um, announced the exact date of the retirement of the CCNP exams but they did say it's gonna happen in fourth quarter of this year which is somewhere between October 1 and December the 31st so if you think you can take the five tests before that time then go for it now for those of you who don't think you'll be able to do that you can still continue to take the the CCNP voice test because as you see down here some of the tests do roll over to the CCNP certification and I'll put a link to this um, graph so you guys can look and see where you fall but if you are already taking the test like the C voice just throw that out that's normally the first test that people take for the CCNP voice that won't roll over but the CIPT1 will roll over uh, it doesn't you don't need the CIPT2 so it skips that but the troubleshooting communication T voice works and caps works so like I said again I'll provide this link so you can kinda see where things fall and roll over but if you are fresh into the CCNP certification I would recommend you drop down and go get your CCNA video because if you've already passed the CCNA voice and if you pass the CCNA video you automatically get your CCNA collaboration I think that's pretty cool it's more of a two for one you pass the video and they automatically give you the collaboration because you already had the CCNA voice under your belt so basically basically what I'm saying is if you take the CCNA voice and pass it take the CCNA video and pass it they're automatically gonna give you the collaboration certificate for the CCNA level uh, that's pretty cool um, again the actual CCNA and NP collaboration um, requirements and material have not yet been released but when they do I will have a lab built and I will be selling it on eBay so you guys please like comment and subscribe to this video make sure you share it uh, and get it out to the people that are in these certification fields because I'm gonna try my best to keep you guys up to date um, and materials are gonna be slow coming to begin with until other vendors pick up and start providing materials for this so hopefully we can um, all get out there as a community and come together and pass these tests I'd like to thank you guys for watching for geek sakes